runs up the middle. Richie Smith grabs him. I'm Richie Smith, number 54. Tettleton, shotgun, hit, fumble, sack. When you're in the bullseye. Welcome inside the Bullseye. I'm Paul Peck, radio voice of Buffalo Bulls football here at UB Stadium following a dramatic 38-37 Buffalo victory over the Ohio Bobcats getting the Bulls their first Mid-American Conference win of the season. Head coach Jeff Quinn said it best. It just feels right. And Bulls fans would agree as the Buffalo Bulls break through with a huge victory on an absolutely beautiful day. The fans were fired up for the weather and even more fired fired up when they walked out of UB Stadium following this dramatic victory. We will look back at all of the big plays, huge runs by Brandon Oliver, huge throws by Chaz Anderson, and big defensive plays, including one by Richie Smith at the end that saved the afternoon for the Bulls. We'll look back at all of those big plays, and you'll hear from the Buffalo locker room. We'll touch on some other sports here at the University at Buffalo, including some big hits from volleyball, and we'll check in with the swimming team. But our focus on this edition of the Bullseye is the huge victory, a one-point win over the Ohio Bobcats. Jeff Quinn joked after the game that he told his coaches and the team, just win by one point or more. Well, that's exactly what they did. You know, I'm proud of every single man in this room, guy, for persevering, for fighting through adversity to show them great resolve, okay? And you had to dig deep, didn't you? Sure. And you guys came out, you were not gonna be denied. You just found a way. You found a way to win. And I told you you were ready to win. You've been ready. You understand me? Certainly. We're gonna continue building on what we feel like today, and it's gonna carry us through this whole season. But you got a tough one next week, okay? So take care of yourself, recover. Do the little things the right way all the time. You'll be blessed with success. I'm joined by Bulls radio color analyst Jim Kubiak following this dramatic and wild and back and forth. Just a typical Mac game, Jim Kubiak. What a great football game. And, you know, Buffalo did some great things on the interior of the offensive and defensive line. They really were physical tonight, and, and they were able to do a lot of things. Yeah, and they did a lot of things, and a lot of players did a lot of things. I want you to react to some of the standout performers in this game. We'll start with quarterback Chaz Anderson, a career-high 343 yards passing. What I like most about Chaz Anderson is the way that he manages the game. He didn't put Buffalo in any bad situations. He's thrown the ball very unselfishly many times over the last course of the last couple weeks, and he, he was just outstanding today. How about wide receiver Ed Young? The struggles from earlier in the season that Bulls fans will remember to bounce back today and catch five passes for 135 yards, and his 90-yard touchdown may have been the pivotal moment in this game. And Coach Quinn said that he's a great example of this UB football team. He's a guy that has had to handle adversity, and he's worked his way back in. And Coach Quinn said, you're going to have your chance. Just be ready. And boy, was he ready. Every week we talk about the exploits of Brandon Oliver. Well, he did it again here today. 34 carries, 179 yards, and three touchdowns. None bigger than the one on fourth and goal from the one that caps off an amazing 18-play, 78-yard, eight-and-a-half-minute drive. What did Chaz Anderson say to Brandon Oliver for the fourth down play just score yeah you better get in you better get it in and what can you say about Brandon Oliver I mean he's a guy that has been a catalyst for this offense and the offensive line did a great job but he did a great job inside picking his way through and he's so physical and he's running and catching the football and scoring touchdowns he's, he's just a huge player for this UB offense all right and on defense a couple of guys really standing out Richie Smith makes the play that ices the victory with the big sack on fourth down. He almost made that very same play at the dramatic end of the game in Ball State. You have to feel good for a kid like Rich who can come back and make it to help his team win here tonight. And initially I thought there was a twist on in the interior of the line, but there wasn't. The guard came down 
too hard and Richie Smith just swam through the gap and made a great play and, and boy did Buffalo need it. That was a fourth down play and you know that was the game. And how about Steve Means, the Buffalo defensive end who had root canal surgery the morning of the game, played with it with his face swollen to two sizes normal, chips in with a sack and a half and really just played his heart out. Yeah, here's a guy that had dental surgery this morning and he puts his helmet on and good thing it fit. But he played a well of a game and and just he played out there for his teammates. And I think that's the the undercurrent that I feel in the locker room and walking around that these guys really sacrificed for each other today and, and it paid off. All right, and, and the big picture on this win is that the guys can believe now. Jeff Quinn has been talking about you're a good team, you're a good team, but until you get a win, sometimes it's hard to get the guys to buy in. How much can a win like this not only validate what What's going on here, but maybe help the Bulls down the stretch. Well, I think you brought the key word. It does validate what's going on here. Coach Quinn came here with a plan, and although there's been tremendous improvements in many categories, you have to win games, and they do it here tonight. And and what that does for this team is gives them confidence, confidence that what they're doing is working, and they're getting better and better. And they're going to be in these situations again as this season wears on, and I think they'll be more prepared. Well, let's hear what the Bulls have to say about the confidence they gained and the things that they did well to. Be Beat the Ohio Bobcats by one point and get their first MAC win of the year. Let's head into the Buffalo locker room. I'm pleased uh, with every single player and F on this football team and our coaching staff. They did a great job in, in uh, getting that game plan ready and getting our kids prepared. And, and then just to watch the way our kids dug deep today. Uh, and they should be rewarded. And I told them we were going to win by one or more. And uh, we needed that one point. I was just glad to uh, get the opportunity to get the ball in my hands and do some big things with it. So we just came in, focused, played our best game, and came up with the victory. Offensive line did a phenomenal job. Uh, we've been so close all season, and we finally clicked on all cylinders and put together a full game. Coach Wood and Coach Passion do a phenomenal job putting us in the right play. And again, I've said all year we have to execute that play, and we did that tonight. That's everything in terms of morale and, you know, and just a lot of confidence. And, you know, he had a great surrounding cast today. Our, our challenge, our offensive line, uh, making sure that they uh, took care of uh, protecting him and, and creating the run lanes that our running back needed, Bo. And, you know, they all put it together, and that's what I'm so proud of. Our scout team, man, I told Jake um, Stockman, he was post, he was emulating number 47. I told him, man, you, you did a good good job this week because that's that was one of the key players on defense, and we did a good job on um, containing him. That's what Coach Inge and all of our defensive coaches uh, preach all week. Um, just got to be consistent, aggressive, and violent. And when the ball's in the air, it's ours, and, and they compete for the ball when it's in their hands. To be able to win a, a MAC East divisional rival game like this at home in front of your home fans uh, just is an awesome feeling. And then it should carry you with some momentum uh, going into the Temple game. All roads go up from here. You know, Chaz has always been a great leader, and, we, and we're behind him right now. And uh, going into Temple, this is a good boost, and I think we're going to do a good job.